a YouTube making another quick video here about uh, just wanted to talk uh, about something real quick under the topic of right livelihood you know it's early in the morning I'm feeling really good just had my breakfast and some oranges I'm gonna go eat a little bit more uh, before I before I get my day going here and I just wanted to uh, you know mention something about uh, yeah under the under the, the heading of right livelihood you know to think of one thing that you could do to to benefit the community uh, utilize your talents um, something long term that, that, that you can do that coincide with your uh, uh, deepest beliefs you know that you can uh, get involved in if it's if it's writings you know something to help help other people starting a blog or participating in your community you know forever uh, volunteering uh, you know being a part of building your community the community that you're happen to be really passionate about you know um, and it doesn't have to be anything that you execute upon right away or tomorrow or any of this, you know, pressure, pressure to do something, but something you can think about that you're really passionate about, something that you have a great interest in and that you would enjoy doing at the same time that would benefit, you know, something that if nobody paid you a cent, you would be doing. You know, so I encourage you, find those one or two things, put it on your list, develop those ideas, and go for it. Maybe you want to start a charity. There's so many charities out. You know, God knows where all the money goes to. I mean, a little bit of a cynical perspective, but, you know, start your own charity. If you want to help kids or if you want to be a part of your community or you uh, want to start a community, Go ahead and do it. You know, if you want to have a festival for, you know, this or that or some community event, do it. The worst that can happen, no one will show up, nobody will give you money, nobody will respond to what you're doing. But they're already doing that now because you haven't done anything. So think about something that you could do in a year from now, in six months from now, in two years from now, in five years from now or in two weeks for now, to help the community, to build a community. If you build a community, you have a community. So there's no excuse. Again, this is all going back to these four pillars, taking responsibility. Take responsibility for what you do. So at this point, we're taking responsibility for how we think about things, building a community. You know, there's little things, little projects I would like to do. The worst I can do is not do it. The best I can do is do it. You know, the worst that can happen is it fails. <laughs> but, you know, it's no, uh, it's no skin off your back if it, if it fails. Uh, you know, just go on to something else. And it's all, it's all beautiful. Um, there's always another day, but find that, find those things that you can be excited about you know those little things that if nobody gave you a penny if no one ever gave you a praise you could look back in 10 years and say wow hey, I'm glad I did that it was a small thing but I have no regrets about it yeah so find something that you could that you could do besides your job besides you know or whatever if it happens to be another source of income whatever it is but find something you could do to build community, no matter where it is. Put it on your, put it on a piece of paper or on your, your phone. Develop that idea into something, and hopefully it'll come to something. And, you know, it'll be one more thing that the world can benefit. From. So get out there, put put in the effort, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Wow. Thank you.